Right. Good morning, team. My name is Edmund Blackadder, and I'm the new minister in charge of religious genocide. <laughs> now, if you play straight with me, you'll find me a considerate employer. But cross me, and you'll soon discover that under this playful, boyish exterior beats the heart of a ruthless, sadistic maniac. <laughs> now, my man, you are? Uh, jailer, sir. My lord. Good. Well done. And your name is? Cloppy, sir. Cloppy. <laughs> yes, sir. Cloppy the jailer. That's my turn. <laughs> Cloppy, son of Cloppy. Cloppy, son of Cloppy the jailer. Ah, oh, oh, no, sir. I am the first Ploppy to rise to be jailer. My father, Daddy Ploppy, was known as Ploppy the Slopper. <laughs> it was from him that I inherited my fascinating skin diseases. Yes, you are to be, you are to be congratulated, my friend. We, we live in an age where illness and deformity are commonplace, and yet, Ploppy, you are without a doubt the most repulsive individual. <laughs> I would shake your hand, but I fear it would come off. <laughs> There's no many bosses would be that considerate, sir. <laughs> Thank you, Ploppy. I do my best. Now then, woman, if indeed you are a woman, <laughs> what is your function on death row? I'm the last meal cook, sir. The prisoners may ask me for what they fancy for their last meal. And you cook for them what they desire. Oh, yes, mm. sir. Provided they ask for sausages. <laughs> Otherwise, they tend to get a tiny bit disappointed. Sausages is all I got. <laughs> you are clearly a woman of principle and compassion, uh, Mistress. Uh... Ploppy, sir. Oh, so you are married to. Oh, no. <laughs> Many people think that, but it's pure coincidence. <laughs> we did laugh when first we found out. Good morning, Mistress Ploppy, okay. he'd say. And I'd say. Good morning, mm. Mr. Yes, Floppy. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> the long winter evenings must just fly. <laughs> ah. And you must be the boy who makes the tea. <laughs> no, sir. no, he's the executioner. But he does sometimes make the tea. Yes. And your name is? Baldrick, my lord. But I'll change it to Ploppy if it'll make things easier. <laughs> no, thank you. I can cope with more than one name. What are you doing here? What? Well, it's a hobby. It would be more, more fun, sir, if he were to change his name, give the place a more family atmosphere. A family atmosphere? This is meant to be a place of pain and misery and sorrow. That's what I mean, sir. Um, <laughs> Mr. Splop is a bit of a social realist, sir. Now then, we're going to run a fast, efficient operation, and I intend to do as little work as possible. My deputy, <laughs> Percy, here, will explain. <clears throat> Good afternoon, staff. My name is Lord Percy, and if you play fair by me, you will find me a considerate employer, but if you cross me, by Jove! Just you... tell him the plan, duck face. <laughs> My lord, not in front of the staff. Get on with it. Right, staff, as you know, we are scheduled to execute Drake and Effingham on Monday, Lord Farrow on Wednesday, and Buckingham and Ponsonby on Friday. But in order to give us the middle of the week off, Lord Blackadder has decided to move Farrow to Monday. Let's just say he's got time off for good behaviour. 